Now I know in the Doctor Who community at the moment, we as fans are all incredibly excited for Russell and his plans for the 60th anniversary of the show, and the show just moving forward in general. But I think a lot of us are forgetting the centenary is right around the corner, and I think there are lots of reasons to be excited for it. So in this video, I wanted to look at the centenary and what do I want from it? What do I want to see from the centenary? Let's go. Now, the first thing I want the centenary to do is give Jodie a proper send off. Look, anyone could have their opinions on what doctors they like and don't like. Overall, I think Jodie has brought a lot to the role and I'd be sad to see her go. I wish she was doing more. But now that we have to accept that she's going, I really want a proper send off for her. Ignoring her outstanding arcs for a second, I really just want Jodie as a doctor to have a fulfilling way of leaving. We've had some interesting and less interesting ways of Doctors regenerating in the classic and modern era, and I'd love to see this Doctor go out in a curious and interesting way, because guess what? That's what we watch the show for, to see curious and entertaining things. So I hope Jodie gets a brilliant final episode, one that we can really cement for her in her time, one that we want to keep re-watching, and one that gives her a satisfying ending. Now, at number two, I want to see some resolutions to the Jodie arcs. This includes things like Phasmin and the Timeless Child. Those are kind of like the main two. Also stuff with the Master, but we'll talk about that in a sec. I just think generally, Jodie's era has a lot of loose ends. Like, we've already found out that, for example, the Ruth Doctor will never really find out where that fit within the timeline. And to me... As someone who gets quite invested in lore itself and explanations for certain things, I want to know why. Why things happen, because that's what good TV writing is. So I want more developments into The Timeless Child, into Jodie's backstory as a doctor and what all that's happening. I want to get some good developments on Phasmin. I want this as a finale to give us the information we needed. Chris Gibble as a writer, however much we can criticise him, in terms of Broadchurch, he was very good at giving endings to each series. So I'm hoping, even if his finale doesn't feel epic, I'm hoping he can at least give us some good answers to the mysteries that he's written in the show along his time. The third thing I'd love to see is Sasha Dwan's master given a fitting finale. Now, am I saying that this is 100% the last time, at least for a while, we're going to see Sasha Dwan's master? No. Is it very likely that that's the case? Yes, because Russell will likely have his own vision moving forward. And I do think that's a real shame. No, John Sim didn't have too much time, but he has some very good stories that meant it gave him a lot of time to do cool things in the role. And Michelle Gomez got a lot of time in the role, and that's probably why she's a lot of people's favourites. And for good reason, she was fantastic in the role, but she had so much time, and unfortunately, Sasha Dwan is not getting that time. So, to make up for that, I'd love to see him just be allowed to go all out. I know a lot of fans have been asking to explain how the whole Missy thing and maybe how Missy regenerated into the Master and how all that stuff happened. If that happens, cool. What I just want is to see the Master have another really cool entry. I think if we'd spent more time with Sash Dwan, I think he could have been one of my favourite Masters of all time. And I'm really hoping that this episode solidifies that. I love the performance. I just need to see more from him. Number four, let's give some justice to our returning characters. Look, we've got a lot of returners here, and I hope this special has enough time to do each of them some form of justice. We've got our returning companions, we've got our old companions, we've got maybe Graham in terms of villains, we've got Daleks, we've got the Master, like we've talked about, and we've got Ashad the Cyberman. Look, there are a lot of Chris Chibnall bad guys returning, and there's rumours that even old Doctors might be returning in this special. I mean, wow. And I think my big concern as a fan is that I don't want these just to feel like this is the finale of the Chris Chibnall era, so we're shoving these characters in. Like, at this point, if Tim Shaw showed up, I wouldn't be surprised. Just, I, I am desperate that this special do justice to the characters that they are bringing back. There is no point in bringing these characters back if you're not going to do something with them. We've brought Ashad back. 
let's do something cool with him instead of just miniaturizing him. Why did they do that? What was the point? Number five, please let the timeless child become a satisfying arc. Now I know one of my previous answers was let's just tie up arcs, but specifically, I am desperate for this special to give me, as a Doctor Who fan, some form of satisfaction to the Timeless Child arc. I've spoken about this before on previous videos, but it is an arc that has just not worked for me on most levels. But since it's mentioned in the second episode of Season 11, it's clearly been Chris Chibnall's plan, and I have really been holding out hope that not only has he found a way to, you know, give it some satisfaction, conclude it well, but just in general, I hope he has answers and is going to explain things, because even if I as a fan don't like what he's done, I really want to at least understand it and have it fully wrapped up well, and just, yeah, I, I do want it to be wrapped up in good and good. <laughs> Look, mainly it's because I, I, I do doubt that it's going to be wrapped up in this satisfying way, but I just want it to be wrapped up in a way and I want it to at least make sense. If it's wrapped up badly, at least it's wrapped up and we have answers. Because I hate the niggly stuff. I hate the part of your brain that goes, yeah, that was never really wrapped up properly, was it? And now we've got RTD, so it never will. And number six, by God, let it be good. Look, this sort of opinion is going to cause a lot of divide. I personally have not been satisfied with any of Chris Chibnall's finales, really. His finales of series 11, series 12, and Flux have not been good, plus the only really one of his Dalek specials I enjoyed was Resolution, not Revolution or Eve, really. So I've got to admit, one of my big hopes for this is that just I want it to be good, because I think Chris Chibnall has a good finale in him, I just hope he hasn't overstretched himself, because for me, that's one of my big worries going into this special, is I don't think he's ever done a good one, really. So I've just got to hold out hope. That, are th those are my hopes for the centenary. So what would you like to see from the centenary? Put them in the comments below. And if you want to see my review of Legend of the Sea Devils, the most recent episode in the Jody run, you can click the video here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.